The need to grow to the limits of our capacities, to become what we potentially are. I think of the extraordinary line which uh, Mallarmé wrote in his sonnet about Edgar Allan Poe, where he says, Tel qu'en lui-même enfin l'éternité le change. As eternity changes him into himself, we don't have to wait for eternity. It is possible to become ourselves in the fullest ego-transcending form, even in this life. In fact, there's something very unworldly about this man who has concluded that intelligence and virtue are the ends of life. His eyes have that abstracted, gelatinous look of the nearly blind. And altogether, he would be a rather forbidding skeleton of a man if he were not so intensely gentle. This is a documentary. This is primarily a question. This is many and diverse contradictory desires. But this is a guarantee of truth. If I say that Aldous Huxley wrote, but the only hope for the world of time lies in being constantly drenched by that which lies beyond time. What is being repeated is the asking for your remembrance of your own nature. And from this interrogation, our communality can be born and then lived as realization and compassion. This is not a proper documentary. The project is not about the chronology of Huxley's life, but about his ideas. Jean Houston, senior advisor to the United Nations on matters of human development. 